Hello everyone, welcome back to the Adult Summer Reading Program craft videos. This is week four, I am Riley Peacock, and we are going to be doing clay jewelry bowls today. And it's gonna be a nice, fun, simple, easy little craft that everyone can do together. And I'm going to show you what you're going to need to take out of your take and make bags, and we're gonna get started. In your bag, you are going to find a little baggie full of air dry clay. It may be double bagged, it may not be, it just depends on uh, what you got in your take and make bag. But go ahead and actually just set aside the bags for now. I'm actually going to rest my clay on top of one of the bags. You may actually also want to get something um, on hand to either roll this out on if you're not comfortable rolling it out on the surface of a table or anything like that. I suggest a cutting board, maybe a plate. But for right now, I'm just gonna set this extra bag aside and we're going to get started with this craft. So as you can see, we have this nice little block of air dry clay. You wanna be really careful because, um, like I said, this is air dry and it will start to dry out the longer it is out of the bag. So you're gonna wanna work fast and if you don't want to use this entire block of clay, I suggest breaking off a, enough that you want to use and putting the rest of it immediately back in the bag. But for me personally, I am going to use this entire block of clay and basically what we're going to be doing is making little pinch pots for our clay jewelry bowls. All right, so make sure you're starting out with a nice clean surface. You don't want any debris getting stuck into your clay. Um, and I'm just going to start very gently um, rolling this into kind of a ball shape. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just use your hands. And the cool thing about this is that you don't really have to warm it up with your hands, um, but the more you work with it, the faster this clay is going to dry out. So just kind of put it into a nice little ball, maybe smooth it out a little bit if you want to. You don't really have to, because we're going to be uh, smoothing it out with our, with our fingers a little bit later. But I'm pretty happy with how that's looking right there. So I'm actually going to go ahead and start making this bowl. You can either set it down flat on the surface in front of you or hold it up in the air. I'm going to hold it up just so um, the camera can see it a little bit better. But I'm going to go ahead and take my thumb and press down right in the middle a few different times into this ball of clay. And so you're just going to make a, a decent sized divot into the middle of your clay ball. And this is where you're going to start forming the bowl shape. So you can make this as tall, as wide, as thick, as thin as you want, but pretty much you're just going to be going around the edge really carefully, ever so slightly, pinching with your thumb on the inside and your index finger on the outside, making your little pinch pot. And you're just going to make little motions all the way around until you get to a shape that you want it to be at. You can mess with it as little or as much as you want. You can make that indent even deeper if you want to. It all just depends on what you want your bowl to look like. So I'm just gonna keep going here. You can cup your hands if you need to um, and put your two fingers in there if you need to as well um, to, to add a little bit more pressure to get the thickness that you want for your bowl. But as you can see, it's really starting to take shape. And like I said, this is just a very fast, simple, easy method. Nice, easy craft that everyone can do at home. And this may be a fun one to get the kids involved as well. But you're just going to keep going right around and making sure that it is about the shape that you want. I'm going to keep going to form the shape that I want and then we're going to move on to the next step. Alright, so as you can see I've got a nice almost even half sphere shape here and this next step is optional. If you want to leave it just like this, you can go ahead and skip ahead to where I can show you how to make the bottom sit flat. But for right now I'm actually just going to go ahead and start shaping this up a little bit more with the way I want it to look. This is very um, rustic looking, I would say, but I'm going to try to make it a little bit more even on all sides. So first off, you're going to want to actually flip it upside down, and you can either do this right on the surface, or I have a paper plate here that I'm actually going to set right on the table here, and I'm going to start lightly pounding the 
edge of the bowl onto a flat surface. What this is going to do is even out the lip of the bowl and make it just a little bit more uniform. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. All right, so now you can see that this is a little bit more flat. It's a little wonky on the inside, but you can just repeat those steps every once in a while to get the shape that you want it to be at. But I'm just going to go ahead and clean this up really quick, and then we're going to make the bottom of our bowl. Just as a reminder, feel free to stop at any point of these steps. If you like the look of your bowl and the shape of what you've made, go ahead and end it. That's if, if you want it to look a certain way and you like the way it looks at this point, go ahead and just leave it the way it is. But I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next step here and I'm going to make this bowl so it sits flat on a surface. See how this is rounded at the bottom? That would be kind of, you know, that would be okay if you wanted it to be a little free flowing and just kind of wobble around a little bit, but I don't want that. So I'm actually going to go right ahead and flip this upside down on my plate and I'm going to start very gently taking my thumb and from the middle of the bowl just start dragging this clay outwards in all directions. It's going to look a little wonky at first but what this is doing is actually flattening out the bottom while also making um, a foot for your bowl and that's going to be a little section where it's going to jut out from the bottom so it's going to look like it's a completely separate piece from your bowl but you can just keep going until you feel like you've gotten it to a point where you want it. You can smooth it out with your fingers. You can, you know, tap it with your fingers if you want, press in the clay just a little bit. You can even turn the bowl around and um, hit it on the underside on your flat surface. That would help too. Um, but I'm just gonna keep going and pressing down with my thumb, dragging the clay out and making sure that this little foot of my bowl is the way I want it to look. And then after I'm done with this, we're actually going to move on to smoothing out your bowl with a little bit of water. Okay, so as you can see here, I do have a paintbrush with me. You don't have to use a paintbrush if you don't have one at home with you. I just have a little cup of water here. You can use your hands if that is all you have available to you, but I am going to use this paintbrush um, just so I don't make as big of as a mess. So I'm going to go ahead and just dip this paintbrush a little bit in some water and actually wipe off some of the excess so it's not absolutely soaking wet. But then just go right ahead and start lightly smoothing out the sections of your bowl with water however you'd like to do that. This isn't obviously a perfect method of doing this but it is a good way to just get rid of the little fingerprints that you may have left behind. Again, if you like the look of that, go right ahead and leave those on there. But I'm just going to continue to use this paintbrush and very lightly, very carefully, just start smoothing out the surface of my little jewelry bowl here. Just a little tip, if you are worried about continuing getting fingerprints on the outside of your bowl while you're trying to smooth it out with water, this is where I highly suggest getting a plate because then after you're done smoothing out the outside of your bowl, you can set it down on a plate or um, some other surface that you can easily move around. And then that's when you can take your finger or your paintbrush and really easily get on the inside of your bowl so you don't make any other marks on the outside of which you just smoothed out. So I'm gonna just go right ahead and keep smoothing this out. And you may have noticed that I'm not completely smoothing out the surface of the bowl. I'm pretty much just worried about getting rid of the little fingerprint marks that I left behind. It's completely up to you what you want it to look like, but that's just my personal preference. So I'm just gonna keep going and smoothing out the surface of my bowl ever so slightly, and then we're gonna wrap this up. All right, everyone. So that pretty much concludes our little craft video for today. I hope you had a lot of fun. I'm going to leave my clay bowl this raw clay colored just because that's my personal preference. But if you would like to paint it, go right ahead. If you want to etch little designs in it after it's dried, go right ahead with that. But just as a rule of thumb, you are going to want to leave your bowl alone to dry for at least an overnight time period. Up to 24 hours is probably the best bet, but overnight should be completely fine. 
Then after that, you can do whatever you want with it. You can put it by the door, put your keys in there, put it in your bedroom, put your jewelry in there, do whatever you want to do with it. But hey, thank you guys so much for crafting with me today. I hope you had a lot of fun. Stay tuned for next week on August 5th. We're going to be doing another craft video where it is going to be beadwork earrings. So it's kind of a nice segue from the clay jewelry bowls into next week. You can put those in there if you want or you can gift them, whatever you wanna do. But hey, I'm Riley Peacock. Thank you all so much for crafting with me today, and I hope you had a great time. Please post a few pictures down below if you'd like to. I'd love to see what you guys created this week. But again, I'm Riley Peacock. Thank you all for crafting with me, and I hope to see you next week. See ya.